Good morning to all. So in this video, in the third unit of high voltage engineering, we are going to see about generation of switching surges. So switching surges slow impulse. That is, if impulse is 1 by 50 microsecond wave, it will be 2 by 200 microsecond wave. That's all. So how to generate this? If we damp impulse, it will give switching surges. That's all the concept. Let us go through the video. Welcome to video on high voltage engineering for seventh semester electrical engineering. This video is about uh, unit four generation of high voltages and currents, and it is the eleventh topic in this series on generation of switching impulse voltages. Let us. Uh, know the learning objectives for this topic in this video we are going to understand what are the characteristics of switching impulse voltages then we are going to see the method used for generating switching impulse voltages and lastly we are going to understand the effect of series inductor on the nature of output voltage waveform Let us understand the characteristics of switching impulse voltage. What is a switching surge? A switching surge is a short duration transient voltage produced in the power system due to sudden operation, opening or closing of a switch or a circuit breaker due to an arcing fault so switching surges are a result of operation of a circuit breaker in the electrical power system circuit breakers usually operate whenever there is a fault detected by a relay so the unhealthy system is isolated from the healthy system and in the process the healthy power lines or healthy part of this system may experience over voltages known as switching surges these surges may be of nature of an oscillatory wave this may be oscillatory waves or damped oscillatory wave having frequency lying in the range of few hertz few hundred hertz to few kilohertz it may also be considered as slow rising impulse wave having wave front time of 0.1 to 10 milliseconds and the wave tail time again ranging from 1 to several milliseconds thus the switching surge contains a larger amount of energy when compared with the lightning impulse voltage if you recollect the lightning impulse voltages they are having a rise time of 1 microsecond or 1.2 microsecond and fall time of 50 microseconds with the same peak amplitude switching impulse switching surges they have rise time and wave tail time lying in the range of several milliseconds that's why the energy content of switching surge is higher than the lightning impulse switching surges can be generated in the laboratory setup by any of the two methods namely first one is by using lightning impulse generator modified to give a longer duration wave and secondly by using power transformer or testing transformer excited 
by a DC voltage to produce uh, an oscillatory output. <coughs> DC voltages giving oscillatory output. Let us now check with the switching impulse generation circuit. This is a, this is a basic switching impulse generation circuit. It is derived from a lightning impulse generator. The principle of operation can be understood uh, with the help of two configurations of circuit. One is without a series inductor and other is with a series inductor. The above circuit it shows a input capacitor or generator capacitor which will be charged from a DC source or a high voltage DC rectifier. While the capacitor is being charged, the spark gap G is set in such a manner that it will not spark over while the capacitor C1 is getting charged to its maximum voltage. Once the capacitor is charged, then the spark gap can be triggered at a desired instant so that the capacitor discharges across the test object through a wave shaping uh, circuit com consisting of R1 and R2 uh, and produce an impulse voltage, a switching impulse voltage of desired wave shape. <clears throat> Let us uh, focus our attention on the circuit operation. Okay. Generally, the switching impulse will be produced having desired wave shape by adjusting values of R1 and R2 such that the rise time lies in the range of few milliseconds and the wave tail time also lies in the range of one to several milliseconds. So the nature of voltage that will be produced by a switching impulse generator circuit is visible here in the portion highlighted at present. It's a uni unidirectional a unipolarity wave having total duration in several milliseconds time. Let us now focus our attention on the lower circuit which consists of a series inductor inserted just ahead of resistance R1. Many a times we are interested in generating switching impulse voltages which are damped oscillatory in the nature. Uh, or you may consider slightly under damped in nature having some oscillations as well. So in that case a series inductor is added and the effect of adding a series inductor on this uh, waveform is visible in the highlighted region of the diagram. You can see that oscillations will be present in the output voltage. Again, the voltage, although oscillations are present, but this will still be a unidirectional voltage. So, this is how the basic switching impulse generator circuit works. Capacitor C1 is first charged through some external means, then the spark gap is triggered. And as the spark gap is triggered, capacitor C1 will abruptly discharge through the test object producing an impulse voltage across it. Let us uh, understand the circuit operation. The circuit above represents impulse generator modified to obtain the switching surges. The values of R1 and R2 for producing long duration waves such as a standard 
switching impulse wave of 250 oblique 2500 microsecond will lie in the range of 1 to 5 kilo ohms for r1 and 5 to 20 kilo ohms for r2 respectively the efficiency of the generator will be considerably reduced below 50% the circuit containing inductor is capable of producing unidirectional oscillatory wave as seen through the circuit diagram earlier the maximum value of switching surge obtained using such an arrangement is 250 to 300 kV from an impulse generator having a nominal rating of 1000 kV at 25 kW seconds the switching impulses of very high peak value and long duration may be obtained using the second configuration of method proposed earlier or suggested in the literature that is using power transformer or testing transformer discharge through the load so this is how the basic switching impulse generator circuit operates let us summarize what we have learned in this video first and foremost that the switching surges are basically long duration impulse voltages having large energy when we compare with respect to the lightning impulses the standard impulse voltage is characterized as 250 oblique 2500 microsecond wave with plus minus 10% tolerance the lightning impulse generators can be modified by altering the values of wave shaping resistors to generate the switching surges so no different circuit is required a lightning impulse generator itself can be used by making changes in the wave shaping resistors and lastly very high peak values and long duration pulses can be obtained by using a circuit that utilizes testing transformers for the purpose of discharge through the test object so this way the topic on generation of switching impulse voltages uh, is covered through this video uh, if there are any queries related to this topic then those can be shared during the online session thanks for watching so in this session we saw about generation of switching surges in the next video we will be seeing about generation of impulse current thank you so much thank you